Well, good day, YouTubers. So, we're gonna show you a uh, new to me, well, it's actually brand new, but a new handgun by Taurus. Uh, let me give you the quick lowdown on it. <clears throat> You've seen the video of the 40 caliber. It's in my channel there. So we had a failure. After many, many, many years, the, the gun failed me. Uh, the magazine catch inside that goes into the slot of the magazine to hold it in the gun, it's made of plastic or polymer or whatever it is. <clears throat> Anyhow, outside firing the gun, sorry for the camera moving too, well, outside firing the gun and it sheared the little nub off that holds the magazine in. So I called Taurus and I said, can you send me this magazine release? I'll pay for it, whatever, you know. The gun has a lifetime warranty on it, or it did when I purchased it. I don't know if it still does or not. At this point, I really don't care. But anyway, she, the lady told me we cannot. Number one, let me first say, I couldn't get anybody on the phone. I had to leave a call back, you know, request a call back. And they, they called me back fairly quick. So she told me they don't make parts for this gun anymore because it was a, on the recall list from 2018. I'm like, okay, so what do I do? She said, well, I'll tell you what we can do. We have a program where we'll replace the handgun. I'm like, well, cool, that's, that's awesome. Uh, if you read the fine print, Taurus has, they have a replacement plan or repair. It says repair replacement at Taurus's discretion. So they no longer make the parts for it. So her only other option was to replace it. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. If that's what it takes, I, I'll pay the difference, whatever, we can prorate it. She says, no, sir, it won't cost you anything. Just we'll send you a shipping label, and they did. And you box it up and send it to us, and we'll send you another one. She says, but now it's gonna be a nine millimeter. And that stopped me in my tracks. I mean, not that I'm against nine millimeters, just that I have so many nine millimeters, I didn't want another nine millimeter. And, you know, this gun was a 40 caliber. So, you know, it's a G2C. They make it in 40, just like they do nine millimeter. But Taurus didn't offer me that option of replacing the gun with the same caliber of the one that I was sending back. So after talking with her a minute, she was real nice. I, almost at the point of being agitated with the fact that I had to send them in a 40 and receive a nine millimeter. Okay. Now, I mean, I'm grateful that they replaced the gun, but it's not a comparable model, not caliber wise, not to me. So, you know, everybody can think what they want, do what you want. You know, keep your comments to yourself about nine millimeter being superior to 40 because it is not. Uh, anyway, I'll digress about that. So, I get the shipping label, box the gun up, um, and ship it back. A couple weeks goes on. I had to verify FFL and all that, of course. Uh, a couple weeks rock on there, and I call them. I'm like, I... I've only got tracking where I sent the package back to you. I don't have anything to track the shipment back to my FFL. Can I get a tracking number? And she tells me then, and only then, do they tell me it's a six to eight week processing. Now, I'm pretty pissed by now. You know, you're telling me I got to go two months without th this handgun. Not that it, it puts me at a disadvantage. I, I don't carry that gun. But that's not the point. Many people do carry, that's their only carry gun, and now they're out of a gun for two weeks, you know, two months. So I get the gun. Finally. Um, and it's a Taurus G2C, flat black, matte black, whatever they call it, as cheap as they could send. And now, like I said, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful that they replaced it. But they didn't replace it with a comparable model. And that still upsets me a little bit with Taurus. I mean, I have several Taurus handguns and never had any issue. 
But then again, I mean, they could have told me to suck it up because, you know, it's been this long. In 2018, when they sent out the recall, they were supposed to send out to all the firearms dealers to let their customer base know that this gun was on recall. I never got the notification. Cause hell, I, I mean, I think I bought that gun at an academy back in 2005 or six. So it's been an extremely long time. So it's kind of bittersweet. I didn't want a 40. And like I asked her, what am I supposed to do with these, you know, two or 300 rounds of 40 caliber ammo that I bought for this gun? I mean, I have other 40s, but they don't know that. But the point is, is I bought the compact 40 because I wanted to carry a 40, a 10 round 40 caliber pistol. I didn't want to carry a nine millimeter. Uh, I have nine millimeters for that if I wanted to carry a nine millimeter that certainly are not Tauruses. Not knocking Taurus, I'm just saying there's better guns in my mind. Now Taurus is, you know, I've never had any issues. This is the first issue I've ever had out of Taurus, period. So whether the Glocks are better or whatever, you know, you can judge that. I have no problem carrying a Taurus, though. Y'all don't get me wrong. But one would think if you're going to repair or replace it, and repair is not an option, that you would replace it with a comparable model. And that also means within the same caliber, not just gun. So anyway, we've got it here today. I don't do unboxing videos, but I'm going to open the box where you can see it. And we're going to take it out and talk about it a minute. I might as well. I'm not going to fire it today. It was storming outside, but I thought I'd sit down and give you, I mean, a quick overview of it. I could have bought this gun, you know, for two thirty nine, I think, at Academy. So I paid more than that for the forty back when I bought it. And now I've got the ammo, which I don't contribute all the ammo to that pistol, but some of it was bought with the intention of carrying it in that pistol. Uh, an additional $25 FFL fee. So I wound up with about, I don't know, 350 bucks being, um, you know, being conservative with the number in this nine millimeter pistol. So anyway, let's get to it. So here's the handgun. That's the little cardboard box, of course. They don't send them in a hard plastic lockable case like they should. Um, generic stuff. There's your lock. There's your paperwork. There's your, you know, your two mags. There's your firearm. Um, I don't know if I can do this one-handed or not. We may have to figure it a different way here. So here's the gun, it's in the plastic, all the other stuff to the side. Gotta love that high-tech protection, you know, protection box that I've got. So, you know, it's a brand new gun. Chamber, flag, stickers, etc. Same thing that you would get with any other gun. So, I don't know how, I may have to cut that off, but um, it's a polymer handgun. Damn, that damn thing's really on there. Well, you ain't gonna break it off. Bear with me while I wrestle with this. Now it says right here, Taurus Lifetime Warranty. You see this? Okay, they don't put in the fine print on the gun that, it, you know, it, they basically, will, you know, they'll replace it with whatever they see fit. So basically, if you send in a Taurus Tracker 44 Magnum, you could get back a 22. Who knows? You send in a revolver, you could get back a, you know, uh, you know a semi-auto and something else. Uh, but when you're in a situation where the gun's been discontinued and the parts as well, then you kind of, that what, that's what makes it kind of bittersweet. They didn't have to replace, I mean, they kind of did have to replace it by their warranty, but they did. So they sent me a gun. 
Oh, I mean, I guess I should be happy about that. They sent a gun. Oh, and I'm glad they did. I'm not happy with what caliber it is. I'm not. I mean, I would. I would not have bought this pistol in nine millimeter because the perk to me is having a pistol this size in a forty. That you know, not ten rounds, a forty caliber pistol. I mean, forty caliber in this size pistol makes it doable. I mean, I ain't really achieved anything by having a nine millimeter in this size because I have other nine millimeters. But now, before y'all get on the bandwagon of bashing Taurus about the thing breaking, like I said, I bought it in 05, 06, and have fired it many, many, many times. I mean, I probably, without exaggerating, there's no telling how many thousands of rounds we fired through that gun. But now, so Taurus isn't the only one that has problems. So, Sig, you seen the video on the 365. Sig had a recall because of the strikers breaking. So, I mean, it's six, a top tier company, right? Certainly more popular and produce, in my opinion, a little bit higher quality handgun than Taurus. Not that Taurus is bad. So, and by the way, my SIG wasn't in the, the serial numbers wasn't in the, uh, re, the recall for the striker. So my gun had already been fixed before they shipped it. So what we have... I got a cheat sheet. This is all off of Taurus's website, so if it's wrong, don't 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 sue me. Taurus G2C. Of course, we know that. It has a 3.20 inch barrel, and I'll just go through this this spec sheet real quick. Overall length is 6.30 inches. Uh, overall height is 5.10, and the width is 1.20. It's not the tiniest thing. And by the way, there's a stupid-ass stupid safety on there, but whatever. Okay, it weighs 22 ounces unloaded. Unloaded 22 ounce 9mm pistol. Uh, at least they're sticking to the 2005 standards. I mean, uh... Okay, so the barrel is a 1 in 10 twist rate, 6 groove. Frames polymer. Of course, it's the basic matte black, you know, nothing fancy now for our customers. We could have, you know, did a coyote tan or something at least if she's going to send me a damn 9 millimeter. They didn't. So anyway, it's black. The slide material is alloy steel. Let's don't do stainless. It's matte black, of course. The barrel is matte black, but now the barrel is stainless, so that's a that's a good thing. Uh, it has a loaded chamber indicator on the top, sort of like um, the Ruger SR9, SR series, you know what I mean? You know, the SR9, SR40Cs and things, they have this little indicator that pops up instead of having the ejector to come out, you know. Anyway, that's how they do it. They put this thing on the top. Um, it has a manual safety, you saw trigger safety and it has a trigger a striker block a striker block safety inside they come with two 12 round magazines all right bye no i'm just kidding um that's really about it the one there's two things that i like about taurus pistols the g2c's and the g3's and the millennial pros like i had they come with adjustable sights on the rear it's adjustable for windage and elevation that's a plus in a, in a 250 pistol um and this pistol has i don't know why we're checking it again fake the youtube police we know that the gun's unloaded but anyway it has reach strike capability or i call it second strike so for you guys that didn't watch the other video or you don't know you go bang and you've got a bad shell, and that happens now that everybody's cranking out bullets at whatever quality level. They don't care. They're just putting bullets in boxes and selling them. So anyway, the thing snaps. You have restrike. You keep pulling it until the gun goes bang. Uh, personally, my suggestion is if it doesn't go bang on the second time, rack slide, tap, go again. But... 
I like the restrike. I like the adjustable sights. And there's one other thing I failed to mention. I caught myself. This gun takes down like a Glock. It has the, the same tabs. Um, pull them down. Pull the trigger. Slide comes off for cleaning. There you go. Um, and for this gun to be brand new, I'm sure they fired it in the factory, but it is very, very dirty inside. So it's never been fired. I just took it out of the box and you know, that's a never fired gun. So there's that. Let's see what the rails look like. The rails are in good shape. They could have did a little better with the rails. Yeah, they, they, they test fired it, there's no doubt, look. But um, they're very, very, that's the biggest rails. The little back rails are almost non-existent here. But, I mean, they do what they do. Uh, a lot of the higher made, you know, more expensive firearms, they have the same type of rail. Goes back together like a Glock, that's it. That's the three pluses. Why in the hell would you put a light on this compact gun? I mean, a light rail on a compact gun, I don't know, uh, unless it's for a laser. And, you know, they make lasers that just clamp around the trigger guard. But, you know, it's there. If you want to throw a light on it, have at it. Um, it's not a, not a bad, not a, not, it doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it doesn't feel like $250 cheap. Um, oh, I didn't like that. Dry fire, and you see that would destroy a gun. The serrations are just squared off. Now, some of the manufacturers will, will cut their serrations back in an angle, you know, like this as they go down, or tilt their tool to where it's sharper on the front edge so it gives you a better purchase. Taurus did not, and that's fine. There's no front serrations, I could care less. I ain't trying to be tactical cool and reach up here and then slip and blow your damn hand off. That's stupid, but that's what everybody wants. Oh, uh, there really ain't a whole lot to say about. It. I don't get these little grooves. That, that that little flared well there, you know. So it, I don't know. I mean, so it gives you somewhere to place your thumb. The problem is, is it's impeding the mag release right here. See how that boils it out. I guess it's supposed to keep you from accidentally hitting the mag release. Um, personally, it'll keep you from accidentally hitting it, and it'll keep you definitely, I can tell now, it'll keep you from hitting it on purpose. So you'll have to angle your gun to release your mag. Does it have the... Yep, it's got the plastic catch inside too. So it's basically just a molded slide release with a molded bump on it that goes in these notches that holds the magazine in the gun. That's what sheared off on the other one. Now, if this one lasts, you know, 18, 20 years, I'll be okay. But um, that's probably the same mag release that was in the original one that I sent back. They, they just, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they got sued or something. I hadn't looked it up. But apparently, the gun was on a recall list, not for the mag problem, but because it would drop safe. They had some some that would go off when they were dropped, uh, so they recalled them. Now, so that mag feels pretty good in there, pretty secure. Don't know what it is. Won't know it till you fire it because the 40 felt secure till you fired it, and every time you fired it, it would drop the mag. Uh, I thought that I was hitting the button until I realized I wasn't in the button. It was just the recoil was, there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough catch left to hold the magazine in under recoil. I'm gonna miss at 40. The gun is rather tall. Uh, it's really not that tall in your hand. It's, you know, that it's a little bit further up, you know, than I would like, but you know, for a $250 gun. I mean, it, it's not a Glock. It's not going to be a Glock. Sorry about that. My 
phone rang while I was in the middle of the video and it just cuts everything off. But anyway, <laughs> Taurus G2C. It would it would make somebody a fine handgun if that's what you wanted. Nine millimeter. I mean it's a uh, plenty potent enough to do the job. You know, it it seems like all the manufacturers and all these days are trying to push everything out except the nine millimeter. Uh, you know, I, I'm okay with the nine millimeter, but I ain't gonna give up my 40s and my 45s. I ain't giving up my 38 specials and 357s and none of that. Guy told me this morning, said, they phasing 40 out. And I said, they've been trying to do that. And, you know, they want nine millimeter to take over everything because it's NATO. Uh, you can't tell me for a minute that our government and other governments aren't making money off ammo sales. So, I mean, but anyway, that's just my opinion. You know how that is. So, thank you for watching. Sorry about the camera sitting here and hearing me rant and rave and not too happy with Taurus, what they sent me. It, only as far as caliber. The gun's fine. The caliber's fine, but it's just not what I sent them. They should have replaced it with the same gun in 40 caliber. Same price, I mean. But anyway, I digress again. So, if you liked the video, we're going to do some shooting videos. We just ain't right now. I just ain't got it. I ain't got it in me. Ammo is expensive. It's raining. So this is just a quick tabletop on, for, on uh, Taurus's customer service and the uh, G2C 9mm pistol. God bless you. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you want. We just hit 1,000 subscribers, and it's been, what, three years? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not doing this for, for anything. I don't get paid a dime. Nobody, you know, I don't promote anything that I don't like. And as long as I'm not paid and sponsored in this, I don't have to. I can just tell you the honest to God truth. Um, and that's what I intend to do. So thank you. Y'all stay safe out there. Let's put God back first. So we really need to. God bless you.